So yeah, my name's Brandon. Uh, I manage uh, platform engineering at Lookout. Uh, today I'm going to talk about uh, Lookout's path to continuous delivery and how we ended up moving towards continuous deployment using uh, production, uh, canaries in production. So first, a little bit about Lookout. Uh, we were founded with the mission of making the world more secure as the world becomes more connected by mobile devices. Our main focus is mobile endpoint security. Uh, we have like a personal and enterprise product on Android and iOS. Like a little bit about our scale, uh, just to set context, um, you know, we have over 100 million devices registered. Uh, we acquire and analyze over 90,000 mobile applications daily through our security analysis pipeline. And we have about 120 services in production. So we, we recently rebuilt our service delivery tooling uh, for continuous delivery. Uh, we had like many disparate in-house built tools uh, that had many problems and were like a huge drag on engineering efficiency and service stability. Uh, I'm going to go over some of this transition briefly to give you some context about how we got to where we are today. So about a year ago, we kicked off an effort to uh, build what we call SDP, uh, our service delivery platform. We ended up consolidating all of our service deployment on Spinnaker. Spinnaker is a service, uh, uh, service delivery platform created by Netflix. So like, here's, here's a brief look at the impact uh, uh, that we had moving to Spinnaker and continuous delivery. Right? So steps to deploy a service to production went from 25 steps to about one to three steps, depending on the pipeline. Uh, engineer time to deploy, that's the time actually spent an engineer doing a deployment, went from about an hour to less than a minute. Um, the automation time to deploy, that's just the deploy end to end, went from about an hour to 31 minutes. Uh, the engineer's time to like patch a service, right, uh, went from about five days to zero, right? And onboarding time, which is the time that it would take an engineer to like get comfortable deploying a service, went from like about three days to about 30 minutes. So we had already achieved continuous delivery, right? And that left us like with like the question of how do we achieve continuous deployment? Um, Let's, let's look briefly right, at the difference between continuous delivery and continuous deployment. Right? Like, continuous delivery is you know, a series of best practices designed to ensure code can be rapidly de deployed uh, and safely, uh, delivering every change to a production life of environment and ensuring business applications and services uh, function as expected through rig rigorous automated testing. Right? So that's what we achieved. Um, <clears throat> then we look at like continuous deployment, right? Continuous deployment is the next step of continuous delivery. That means that every change, um, every change uh, it, that passes automatic tests is automatically de deployed to production. So to get to continuous, to continuous deployment, we knew we needed to test in production. Um, we be began looking for ways to automate metric-based deployments in Spinnaker. Um, so in this context, what is a canary, right? A canary is a deployment process in which change is partially rolled out, then evaluated against the current deployment, which is the baseline, to ensure that the new deployment is operating at least as good as the old deployment. This evaluation is done using key metrics that are chosen when the canary is configured, right? So we, had, we already knew that like Netflix had already achieved this internally with, with Spinnaker. Right, and we were kind of like looking like, hey, we want to do this too, right? Um, so we turned to our partners at Armory. Um, Armory, we had partnered with Armory to do continuous delivery, right? They had partners, uh, partnered with us and gotten us to that point. And so we came to them, we were like, look, we want to do Canaries and Spinnaker, right? So Armory actually put together a hackathon uh, where look, they brought Lookout, us as a customer, right, together. We spent three days together. Um, to try to solve this problem. You know, we brought our services, our use cases, our requirements, um, and we kind of laid the foundation for an automated metric-based canary platform in Spinnaker. The eventual outcome of this was uh, Armory's barometer service. So <coughs> barometer, is a serv barometer is a service that integrates with Spinnaker that uses time series data from your monitoring platform, which is in our case Datadog, to allow for <laughs> the orchestration of metric-based canaries in Spinnaker. So let's look at how this works in more detail, right? Um, 
What you see here is a deployment pipeline for one of our services. You can see the production canary stage right before the production deployment. The canary stage starts by deploying two new server groups, right? A baseline and a canary. The baseline service group is deployed with the same AMI as the current release. And then you have another server group which is deployed with the release candidate. Both the baseline canary and the <coughs> baseline and the canary are configured to take production traffic. And the canaries emit metrics to Datadog using the tags specific to the canary deployment. The barometer service compares the metrics of the baseline and the canary. If the, metric, if the metrics fall outside a defined deviation, the canary fails. Once the canary stage is per, uh, completed, both the canary and the baseline server groups are destroyed and the pipeline continues, uh, continues either as a success or, or a failure. So you can configure a canary uh, to watch any metric you want, right? Like here we're watching system metrics and application based metrics. You can see we're watching for response codes, other application metrics, and other system level metrics like memory utilization and CPU. Like, so here's an example of a pipeline, right, that passed, right, so it goes on to, like, do the, do the staging deployment. And here's one that failed, right? So notice the link on the bottom to the Datadog dashboard, which is actually really useful. So if the deployment fails, it actually shows you a Datadog dashboard of the metrics that caused the failure. So we're still pretty early uh, into our journey into continuous uh, deployment with, and, uh, but here's some things we've learned so far, right? It takes time to dial in what metrics you want to use, right? So we first started out, we were like, let's look at all of our RCAs, let's look at all of our incidents, let's try to like dive into the, to like the metrics, right, that uh, uh, would have like shown this, this incident coming before. Um, it was funny, like none of those things ended up being what we used. So it takes time to actually identify these things. Uh, too many metrics will cause too much noise and cause false failures, right? So another thing we tried, we're like, look, uh, let's throw 100 metrics in there, right? Let's watch that. Um, that, was actually, that was actually interesting. We saw, got a lot of interesting data points, but, but we ended up with too many false positives. Um, the last thing is it slows down your deployment, like in our case by hours, but actually ends up saving time. So funny story here is like an engineer came to me and he was like, my God, like, you know, this canary is taking so long. It's like three hours. And like my answer to him was like, dude, stop watching it, right? Like the whole point, right? Like go on and do something useful, right? Like, and he was like, what? He was like so trained to like sitting there and watching the deployment and like waiting for it to like succeed so he could see if it failed. I was like, you know, the service is actually doing that for you, right? So, uh, yeah. So one more note, right? Um, barometer filled a need for us for a while, right? But uh, Netflix and Google, who are both very active in the Spinnaker community, uh, recently collaborated and shared their knowledge of, you know, how to do metric-based canary deployments and built a platform in Spinnaker for automated canary analysis called Kianta. Uh, Kianta is awesome, <laughs> and we're currently in the process of migrating all of our canary deployments from Barometer to Kianta. Uh, this is actually one of the great things about the Spinnaker community is that you can leverage all the community contributions from great companies like, like Netflix and Google. Um, and here's the release uh, that came out uh, not that long ago about that. And I also want to mention uh, Bobic. <laughs> Bobic was actually the person that should have been here giving this talk. Uh, he actually did all the technical work. Uh, he's awesome. And uh, yeah, he, he's just in Boston, so he couldn't give the talk. 